This is a quick video on how to bulk image process, uh, bulk compress images on Photoshop. Basically what you're going to do is make sure that you have them in a folder. Right here I have them in the name of the title. And I have four thumbnails that I put in here. And as you can see, based on the screenshots that I took and how I renamed them, that the sizes are quite big and unwieldy. Um, these are just thumbnails, so I want to make them smaller and all about the same size. And then I also want to compress the images into a smaller size and lower the resolution because they're going to be small. It doesn't really matter. So a quick way to do that, if you have Photoshop, is to go File, down to Scripts, Image Processor. Now there's a series of options here, but the one that you want, so we're going to select the folder that we care about. This is going to be in our desktop, this folder here, the ultimate roadmap. And then we're resizing to fit um, and we're choosing the quality for JPEG. Six is usually pretty good. Uh, if you're working with a lot of retina display stuff or you want it to be really crispy, you probably wanna go in, do one video manually, um, or I'm sorry, one thumbnail manually to just see the quality change and what level of graininess is sort of accurate or, or a best fit for you. So I'm gonna put these in as resize to 400 width and height. Now what that will do is if it's a landscape thumbnail, it'll resize it to a width of 400 and then the height will be auto. It'll be necessarily smaller than that 400. And if it's a portrait, it will go by the height. So it'll shrink it to a height of 400 pixels and then the width will be auto as the as part of the resize. It'll stay, you know, keep the same dimensions, but it'll it'll base the resize fit numbers off that, which is not necessarily intuitive, so I wanted to say that. The save a file quality of JPEG 6 is pretty good. That's kind of like a 60 out of 100 score. So let's just run it and see what it does. And what you're going to see is it's kind of doing some work right now, and it's going to pop open one of those thumbnails, resize it automatically, uh, put it back in that folder, and we'll see, so it just did it so quickly you couldn't see it, but if you've got like 50 of them that you're doing, it'll keep popping open like, you'll see it kind of batch process those with a script. So here we can see that we've cut off about nine tenths of the size for each of these videos, a little bit more, and we can kind of see what they look like, and they look fine. So the video size being 400 pixels, which is about what I needed, and then I'm just gonna pull this one, here you can see it's much larger, of course, but we only needed it to be about this size. So I can't see uh, I can't see much of a difference. This did a pretty nice job for me, and that's why I always go with six for JPEG. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.